Hello, this is Shane Johnston, Director of Schools for Jefferson County. I want to thank everyone for your continued patience and support as we continue to work towards our plans for reopening school in 2020-2021 school year. Currently, we are proposing to the school board an updated calendar change that they will vote on this coming week, and they will vote on July 23rd, and that simply allows three additional days on the front end of school for our teachers to prepare for distance learning and traditional learning. There are many variables that are going into these equations, and we are working very diligently to be ready to support your children, no matter the format that they choose. What the impact that has on you as the parent will simply be, instead of the child's first day of school being on Monday, August the 3rd, right now we are planning for the first first student day to be a full day on Friday, August the 7th. Now some may ask why do you go to school on a Friday instead of just waiting till Monday. It actually has some uh, benefits for us in the educational world as well. We're going to run our buses that day. We will identify routes that are too long or uh, problems with any of the bus routes. It gives us the weekend to fix that. And also classroom teachers then get an additional day or so over the weekend if they need to make adjustments to seating arrangements and or traffic flow in the hallways and those kind of things. So again, your first full day tentatively planned right now is Friday August the 7th and that will be a full day for students and of course food services will be providing meals and bus service will be in play as well. If you can visit our website at jc-tn.net and locate on that page and it's easy to find on that front page under news and information you can go to our weekly updates. I sent out an update earlier this week on July 13th. Specifically this week the major adjustments were on pages 5 through 14 where it talked about distance learning. It has some explanations and some expectations expectations for both students and parents. Uh, we are also working and developing the expectations for our teachers and uh, the support staff to make sure that your child has everything they need to be successful. On those pages 5 through 14, please read those carefully because it does contain an expectation that we will at some point in time want to do some uh, uh, mastery checks and things with students and also parents we know that not everyone feels comfortable in the adult world using technology and we're going to provide some training opportunities so that everyone has the opportunity to be successful. I will issue another update at the first of this coming week on July the 20th or so. It could be the 21st, but we're looking at Monday the 20th for that update. And then that will be have some slight adjustments. However, I believe firmly that the week of July 27th, there will be uh, much more information on that update. So make sure you're checking it frequently. And if there's any time a major adjustment in mid-flow, I will issue a phone notification call using our phone system to notify parents and guardians and families of the change. So as we plan these things, a lot of questions that we're getting around health and safety. Of course, uh, uh, one of the number one question we get asked are masks right now. Masks are encouraged or suggested by our staff and our students. Uh, we are evaluating this and continuing to evaluate based on updated guidance from the health department and other health officials. Again, that will be part of that weekly uh, update and we will finalize that as we get closer to the start of school. Additionally, we may start school in one uh, situation and have to transition either to less stringent or more stringent guidelines depending on health guidance from officials and also what's going on in each school. As that goes, each school may also have different set of circumstances and there may be different situations that require some adjustments uh, as needed. Again, thank you for your support and patience. As we also talk about uh, masks, the other question is about distancing. Again, we are running buses and we have said we cannot guarantee distancing on buses. We are also looking at ways, that, every way possible, that we can keep kids safe on a bus if your child must ride a bus, uh, including siblings sitting together, possibly skipping seats when available. And now we have students this week that started in our early academy at each campus. That has been wonderful practice for us to look and identify ways and things of scenarios. We also appreciate the questions that we're getting on the email through reopening at jcboe.net. Those questions not only allow us to give you answers, but you are also helping us identify strengths areas that we still need to address and more protocols that we need to develop. So we are hard at work. We know that you're anxious for your child to get back in their educational setting, but we also want to commit to you our, uh, that we're committed to your child's safety and our employees safety. That is our first goal as we try to balance the reopening plans with the safety and health of everyone. I do want to let everyone know it's an exciting news. You know, we're planning on first grade through 12th grade students all having a, a device, first and second grade with new iPads, third through 12th grade with laptops. We do have enough to begin the year for third through 12th grade with laptops, but then more laptops are coming in to cycle out those that have several years of wear on them. And then it was exciting news earlier today here on Friday that 
Uh, we have received our first shipment of the iPads for grades one and two, and this is a way ahead of the projected delivery date. That will take us time to put our hands on them, image them, and get them ready to be issued to students. Uh, but that is a great problem to have that on July the 17th uh, that we have those in our hands and we can begin to get ready for the school year. So we're, we're working hard. Everyone in the organization is, and we appreciate your support. Uh, as we close today, I just want to remind everyone that Sunday, July 19th, at the end of the day, is when our online gateway registration portal will close. Again, we need everyone to register, whether you're a returning student or new student to our system, and we need you to log on and do that. If for some reason you experience internet problems and cannot do that, call your child's school next week and someone will either take that call and help you or return that call. But this will give us accurate information on how many total students have already registered and we can begin to make predictions on the online or distance learning option. Obviously, our plans change if 8% of our kids want distance learning and if 38% want distance learning. So that information is very important to us as we plan. We'll come alongside you and help you any way we can. We're here to support families and students. And of course, we are here to take care of our employees as well. So ha have a safe, wonderful day. Remain safe during this time. And if you ever have any questions, please reach out to us and we continue to work together to reopen schools safely in Jefferson County.